Hey everybody, what's going on? Josh here with Scrapyard Films, and today I got another Vegas Pro 17 tutorial for you. And in this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to do warp flow transition, which is this. So if you want to learn how to do that, let's jump right into Vegas. Once you have it open, drag and drop anything you want in there. You can do pictures or videos. I drug a video of me in here and I took some stills out of it just because we're going to do some pictures so it can go quicker for you. So that's my video. I'm going to drag it out of the way and I'm going to select my pictures and then I'm going to drag them into the timeline. And now that I got them there, I'm going to zoom in a little bit. And then if we go to transitions over here, then we scroll down all the way to the bottom. It's going to be warp flow, the second from the last one. And so at this one, you can drag in between two images. Now you don't have any options. There's just one preset for this warp flow. The only thing you can adjust is the length of how long it takes to do the warp flow. So this transition by default was one second. Now this transition does take a toll on your processor when you're doing it. So if you have your preview set to best full, you may want to drop that down just to see what you got. So I'm going to go ahead and do preview auto. And then I'm going to zoom in a little bit and then I'm going to play it and see what it looks like. That looks pretty cool. Let's do it in slow motion. All right. So if you shorten the distance, we're going to do, let's just do 15 frames like that. And that provides a really awesome transition into something else, a different facial expression. I'm going to skip ahead. I'm going to shorten all of these and make them go really quick. Okay, so I've shrunk in all of these pictures and added warp flow transition to every one of them, each picture being a second long. Let's see what that looks like. That looks pretty cool. And so the things to remember about this effect is that you can't change any of its properties at all. It's just its own built-in effect that's what you see is what you get kind of deal. And then another thing is you can't fade out or fade in with this effect. It doesn't look good. It kind of just stretches it out. Let's see what that looks like. And that's not a good looking fade out right there. And let's see what the fade in looks like. And so when you fade in, it provides a pretty cool looking black fade in it's like it comes in from the side and then lightens up the room that i'm in you can see so fading in it looks pretty cool but fading out does not it just kind of bloats you out and then that's it and another thing to remember is that this transition definitely takes a toll on your computer and that's going to wrap it up for this video i just want to show you guys the new warp effect and just show you how to use it it's not too complicated, thank goodness. And maybe in future patches, Vegas will add a little bit more customization to Warp Flow. But right now, I think it's a pretty cool effect. If this video helped you out, be sure to like and subscribe to my channel. That'll really help me out. I'm trying to hit a billion subscribers by the end of the year, so with your help, I can probably do it. I also have a ton of other Vegas 17 tutorials on my channel, so go swing by to Scrapyard Films and check that out. Maybe you'll learn something or see something you don't know. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.